Tonight, Nebraska Democrats fire back after Republicans move fast, changing the ballot in the governor's race. Good evening. I'm Brandi Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Tonight, a political expert tells us the situation is, quote, ripe for a lawsuit. And of course, all this follows the lieutenant governor's resignation, then him dropping out. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl live with tonight's big story. And Brandy, Team Ricketts not only had the Secretary of State change the ballot, they're already rolling out new signs, trying to erase the evidence of his previous running mate. But experts say at this point, voters just aren't going to forget. Even after a week of curveballs. Hi, Edgy, my name's Nick. Volunteers at the Republican Victory Office say their heads are still in the game. Do you have a particular issue that's most important to you as you vote in this election? But for Pete Ricketts' opponent, Democrat Chuck Hassebrook, there's another issue we should be talking about. No one's above the law, and the law needs to be followed. Hassebrook and his party unleashing on Secretary of State John Gale after he agreed to replace LeVon Heidemann's name from the November ballot with Mike Foley's name, a ballot that's supposed to be final on September 1st. Uh, Pete Ricketts knew about the problems with LeVon Heidemann. He rolled the dice, and uh, John Gale has bailed him out. Heidemann also stepped down as lieutenant governor, citing family issues. But according to political experts, swapping out candidates last minute is unwise. I think that uh, they would have been better off not trying to change the ballot and then dealing with it after the election. Paul Landau teaches political science at UNO, and he says a candidate asking to bend the rules could lead to legal backlash. This thing is ripe for a taxpayer lawsuit. A lawsuit any taxpayer or voter could file, and he says the kind of press LeVon Heidemann generates is press you can't shake. By doing what they're doing, they perpetuate the controversy rather than putting an end to it. But whether it's the right decision, we won't know until you go to the polls. And Republicans say they're staying in the game until the end. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. Bye. Now, Democrats also accuse Ricketts of knowing about Heidemann's, quote, situation well before September 1st, although Hassebrook says he will not take the ballot issue to court. Secretary of State John Gale will not comment on this issue until at least tomorrow. Guys, back to you.